India make one change from the side that lost to Sri Lanka. Raju replaces Srinath, and that means they have three frontline spinners, Kumble, Chauhan, and Raju. 30 overs of spin in a one-day inning. <laughs> what a welcome prospect. The Australians keep the same team that beat Pakistan. Hardly surprising given the efficiency of that performance. Youngsters Michael Bevan and Glenn McGrath retain their places, as does Tim May, the one bowler who took punishment from the Pakistanis. Mohamed Azaruddin won the toss and, encouraged by a good weather forecast for this day-night match, decided to bat first. We join play in the second over. No runs on the board yet. Glenn McGrath to Sachin Tendulkar and in the commentary box, Ravi Shastri and Keith Stackpole. Nice shot by Tendulkar. There's a lot more run on this outfield today and that should be four runs. And again, off the back foot, the Australians not even bothering to give chase on that one, and they should because it may not get there. But four runs for Manoj Prabhakar off the back foot. Nonchalantly played there from Manoj Prabhakar. Oh, well, that's a most emphatic stroke. Six runs, what a glorious pickup. Yeah, well, there we go again. That's exactly what we were talking about, just straying onto that middle and leg. And that's a fine stroke. It's going to be four more. Yes, again, the Australian bowling attack straying that middle and leg area, and you just can't do that. Quicker one, it's up in the air, he's going to be out, caught, he's gone. A bad ball and an equally bad shot. There was no way Prabhakar was in position to play that full shot, you can see. The bat turning in his hand at the point of impact, meaning uh, Midon had a very simple catch to take. So that's the first Indian wicket gone down. Down the wicket comes Sidhu and he's played it to deep mid wicket, the ball rolling over the boundary line and it just crosses over. 92 for one ground does lose a lot of pace. Down the wicket comes Sidhu, oh it's a glorious shot, six. That was a six the moment it uh, hit the bat. Beautiful. There are two fielders down there, there's a deep mid-off and a long gone. But uh, that did not deter Sidhu from going for his shot. He loves to use his feet against the spinners, plays uh, the lofted shot very, very often. Uh, Sidhu couldn't resist that, he's going to be caught by Boone. He is and it's a splendid catch by David Boone, Sidhu. Nice shot off the back foot. Won't be a boundary, Shane Warner around very quickly in the deep. But those are then back to two runs. Full toss on leg stump, went for the Yorker, and he's paid the penalty, four runs. Fine, delicate edge by Mohamed Azraddin. Could be a boundary, if not it'll be three. McDermott, pick it up, a very strong arm, but well run by Sachin Tendulkar, he was running to the danger end. Peel and Azaruddin walks inside edge. Mr. Take. Here we see the front on view. Just trying to force the shortish ball there. He rolled it a little bit too much and just happened to edge it off the face. It just shows you how much wrist he puts on that on that shot. Shane Warne to Tendalka needing four for his hundred. Oh, and that's going to be certainly two of them.
a neat deflection and the anticipatory clapping starts well that's one of them it could be the hundred they're going for the second yes that's Tendulkar's hundred his first international hundred international one day hundred and he must be vastly relieved goes for the big one and he's out bold clean bold by McDermott at the end of a fine innings for the youngster his first century in nicely struck through the covers will only be one there Oh, it just could be a run out, should be a run out. Capital Dev looking for the second. They looked like there was only one in it from the bat. And Capital Dev, both batsmen caught up at the bowler's end. And a bad slip up there for India, but good fielding out in the deep by Michael Slater, who attacked it, picked it up nicely, and no response from the other end. That's brilliant fielding by Ma Michael Slater, but if you see here, that's poor cricket by Vinod Thambli. He's looking at the ball rather than looking at the non-striker. Kapil hopelessly stranded here. Yes, Kapil had two in his mind from the moment it left the bat. But Campbell usually find it's the other way. He usually find it's the batsman that hits the ball that looks for two. But on this occasion, it was the non-striker who was looking for two. Because had he run, he would have made the run comfortably. So five for 216, India. Pulls it away behind square leg. Playing around very quickly. Could be another run out on the cards. And calling for the replay. That looked as though it could have been very close and in fact may even be out. But we're bringing the third umpire into vogue here. I think he'll be out here. His bat was in the air from what I can see here. But let's check for the third umpire now. And he is out. He is on his way. So another wicket to the Australians. Two run outs in this particular over a very good over for the Australians 216 for 6 ah! out caught behind another success for the Australians this Indian innings starting to fall apart a good bowling change by Mark Taylor the wicketkeeper well, the batsman looking to run it fine a nice little edge through to Ian Healy there you can see a lot of turn and then Monga trying to make room and hit it just gets a slight nick Dan Warren like he did in Sharjah now goes for the big hit this will either be six or out and it's six a magnificent blow by Cambly that's what India need they need him many a mile Yes, just went with the spin and the breeze that was carrying it out into that area not so long ago blowing to that side of the ground has virtually disappeared with a beautiful hit and he's bowled and that's the sixth wicket they've lost since the 35th over so yes Keith we're in for a tremendous contest Anil Kumble here making room for himself and trying to hit Steve Waugh to the offside missing it a long way. It's Kumbli out, 8 for 237. Nine more runs were added, but that total of 246 for 8 must have been some way short of what India expected when they passed 200 with just three wickets down. Tendulkar, the star of the show, and an important contribution by Vinod Kambli in the closing overs. For Australia, two wickets each for Craig McDermott and Shane Warne, one for Tim May and Steve Waugh, and they really did fight back well after Tendulkar's lightning fast start. India, 246 for eight. Uh, Sunil Gavaskar and Keith Stackford. Nicely driven by Slater. Captain Dev giving him just a little bit of width and pitch. That's a nice pull shot. Won't be a boundary. Should pick up three runs from it. But this pitch just proving that anything short at all gives the batsman an easy opportunity to put it away for runs. Wide again. Four runs. Got through the fieldsman there. Campbell perhaps 
could have been just a little bit more desperate at getting across to his right. Out. Caught and ball. That's the breakthrough that India wanted. Well bowled by Prabhaka, just short of Mark Taylor. Perhaps a little ambitious, looking for the big drive straight down the ground, and he holds out. Well, I think the change of pace uh, did him as well, because uh, Prabhaka hit that uh, ball very well. Four runs. Looking very menacing, Michael Slater. And the Australian total races up to 27 with the lock. Oh, that's a fine stroke off his legs by Wall. That'll be four runs. Well, it won't be. Raju's just going to get there. The outfield pulling it back. Well, well, well. Well, that was a splendid stroke. Using his feet, swinging with the tide. That's four runs to Mark Wall. That's a handsome stroke. Good himself here. He's well set, tried to hit it over mid on. The ball came into him a bit, and Manoj Prabhakar there diving away to his right with an excellent catch. 56 for two. Driven through the cover is a beautiful shot. Four arms. Oh, what a lovely shot there. That's up in the air past the left hand of Kapil and it's coming down to the boundary here, four runs. It would have been an incredible, spectacular court mode. Down the wicket he comes and that's going to be four over mid-wicket. Beautiful shot. And the ball, he told him, he was down the wicket, perhaps across the line, and he is out. And, uh, well, rest relief at last for India. Yes, and now they've got to capitalise on it, because this is an important wicket for the Indians. And Boon trying a slightly ambitious shot, missing and being bowled. And that's another single to... Mark Wall and it is 50. Kumble fielded. Mark Wall has hit a splendid 50 here this evening. This time in the air. Squarer and should be a boundary. No cut off by the new Kembley out there with the foot. Excellent save again. Three runs for Mark Wall. Oh! And he's bowling through the gap that of Mark Wall. Mark Wall trying to force this one. Actually that turned quite a bit. Probably struck middle and leg. A very, very good ball indeed. D for four. That's a fine stroke. And well run indeed. Bevan very quick between the wickets. They did so well to get back for three then. Oh, what a beautiful one. The perfect Yorker on the next stump. Bowled him off his pads and that is the wicket that India so badly wanted. Beautiful delivery here from Manaj Prabhaka. Right in the block hole. Steve Waugh trying to hit across the line. Stood no chance. Great breakthrough for India that. 181 for five. It's in the air, and there is the he caught. Yes, he's caught that brilliant caught on the boundary. McDermott is. He's covered one hell of a lot of ground here. See there, he's covered so much ground. It's always difficult these catches, and finally diving forward and taking it. Brilliant catch. Gives that everything beautifully. Fielder could be run out. Oh, magnificent piece of fielding by Prabhaka. 
We've seen some great work from him here tonight, but that was absolutely superb. Healy was looking for the single, Prabhaka swooped on it, and from a lying position threw the ball to the bowler, and off went the bails, and he was out. Yes, that was very good work from Prabhaka. Ian Healy rightly going for the single that would have kept Bevan on strike in the next over. But Prabhaka diving to his right, stopping and having a go straight away. Could be out, Sidhu down there, and takes it a comfortable catch. Well bowled by an Cumbly. For yesterday. May, and they've got him on his legs, so that is the ninth wicket down. To is that, how's that? No. Is he out? He has gone, the McGrath is run out, and so India have won this match. They've won it in the end easily by 31 runs. And India have got there, and have got there with something to spare. Well, McGrath trying to hit the ball up in the air, and Prabhaka feeling it, and having a throw at the stumps. And at the very good decision there by the umpire. The sound of fireworks greeting the Indian victory. Comfortable enough in the end after Chauhan had dismissed Mark War and Boone midway through the innings. And what a performance by Manoj Prabhaka. Three for 34, two catches and that spectacular run out of Ian Healy. Chauhan took two important wickets and there was one each for Kapil Dev, Raju and Kumble. Yeah, I think doing the talks is very, very vital and very important because uh, I've played quite a few games here. I think uh, the team who's batted first has always won uh, most of, on most of the occasions. So I think it was very important and vital for us to win the toss. And then, uh, I mean, uh, Sachin Tandulkar, and I mean, has given us a tremendous start, you know. But uh, I was still not happy with the way we got the runs, you know. We got only 246. I think at one stage it looked like 270 or 280. But uh, I think a lot of players, you know, need a lot of thinking uh, when they're batting and they slog over.